as of yesterday, more than 10 million Floridians had completed their, uh, their shot, their regimen of shots. You know, one shot of Moderna or J&J &J or two shots of Pfizer. So that makes, what, about half of Floridians vaccinated in Miami-Dade a top 70%, but there's still a significant mm -hmm. amount of people that have chosen not to get the vaccine. And until very recently, Miami Lakes Mayor Manny Seed was one of those. And Mayor Seed now joins us. Uh, he is an old friend. Manny, it's great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Is that a longtime friend or an old <laughs> friend? Hi, Mayor. Well, well, well I have known Mayor Seed. Good to see you, Glenn. Good to see you, Michael. Thank you for the invitation. Oh, we're, we're very glad you're here. All right, well, we invited you because we have said, even earlier in this program, that we have been trying to find somebody who had been reluctant, hesitant to get a shot, and you were, and then you got one. So go through the process. What made you decide that you should get the shot? Well, I, I, I was definitely very hesitant. I mean, as we know, uh, it's under emergency approval from the FDA. I, I know the FDA is working very diligently right now to, to approve, to have full approval, which I think is going to make a major difference. I know we've seen the polls. Uh, over 50% of the folks that are hesitant said that full FDA approval will make a big difference. Uh, but for me, it was simple. I, I spoke to my doctor. I spoke to local nurses, uh, ER doctors here locally. I mean, uh, pharmacists, you name it. And that really helped with my decision. Um, and that's something I encourage everybody to do. Talk to your doctor. Talk to local doctors, local nurses. And, and, I, and I can tell you that's something that gave me confidence in why I, I move forward. So that's really interesting to hear because essentially what you're saying is I went out and got medical and scientific information. Mm -hmm. But Mayor, I am here to tell you, we speak to people all the time whose decisions are not based on medicine or science. And again, I want everyone to be very clear that we respect everybody's decisions here. That said, we are hearing decisions based on conspiracy, based on misinformation, based on disinformation that is so entrenched, it remains months later right now. Do you have any way, have you thought, have you met anyone who you, who you think can be swayed, who has not been yet, and if so, how? Well, that, that's why I shared my story. Uh, I can tell you, sharing my story helped many folks. I, the amount of phone calls that I've got that, that people said, Mayor, thank you very much, uh, was incredible. I know at least a handful of people that got their vaccine right after I got mine and right after I shared my story. So that's why I went ahead and, and, and did that. It's, it's definitely a personal decision, but I highly recommend talk to your doctor, reach out to the local uh, nurses, the pharmacists, ER doctors, uh, but yeah, I, I hear it all the time. I know a lot of folks and listen, it's, it's not a party issue. It's not one party in, or another. I know folks from all walks of life who are incredibly hesitant. Uh, but what changed my mind was talking to the people that I trust, my local doctors, my neighbors that are nurses. Uh, and, and that's something that helped out a lot. But yeah, uh, sharing my story, I know for a fact has already changed the minds of, yeah. of several people. Yeah, and I was just going to ask you that question, Mr. Mayor. Have people come up to you, called you, and said, gee, I was hesitant, I wasn't going to get it, but then I heard that you got the shot, that you had done this investigation, and now I'm getting one too. Have you heard that? I, I have, I have, and that's that's something I know the, the folks in my community trust me. Uh, I know that, you know, I could have got the shot and, and not said anything and just stay quiet about it, but... I had people reach out to me and, and, and talk to me about why they're hesitant. So I said, you know what, I need to put my story out there. And I can tell you, I know at least a handful of people who got their shot right after I shared my story and reached out to me and thanked me. So I, I highly recommend more and more elected officials, more and more community leaders uh, go out there, you know, encourage folks, talk to them, but also be empathetic because I think it's very important to understand that it's okay to be hesitant. You know, folks are, are, are hesitant, but at the same time, encourage them to talk to their doctor, talk to their neighbors that are nurses, talk to for their local pharmacists, people that they trust. And I can tell you that will change a lot of the hesitancy in, in our community. Excuse, did, I, I'm sorry if I missed it, but you, you said you, you changed your mind because you got medical information. But did you say, did I miss you saying why you were so hesitant? What, what were your reasons? Well, look, uh, I was exposed from, from the get-go. I, I never quarantined and, and from the beginning because I was out in the community helping 
uh, people from day one. So I'm 37 years old. I'm relatively healthy. Uh, I know at the beginning, the entire focus was on our senior population to get vaccinated. Uh, once it became available to, to my age group, one of the things that I did too was check my antibodies. Uh, I talked to my doctor. He said, you know what, Manny, you need go check your antibodies. We'll make a decision after that. I, I checked my antibody levels. I had no antibodies. So I said, you know what, this Delta variant's coming out. Let me talk to a couple nurses in my community. Let me talk to the to the pharmacists in my community. Um, and they all told me the same thing. Definitely get the vaccine. If you have no antibodies at all, if you have uh, no protection, this Delta variant is is no joke. Um, and that's that's why I made the decision. But I, yeah, I, I was definitely uh, hesitant, like like our many, many Floridians. We know that half of Floridians haven't gotten vaccinated. Uh, but that's something I, I highly encourage. Go sit down with the people that you trust. A lot of times there's folks uh, all, all over the place giving their opinions, but I, I get to everybody, you know, zone, zone out the noise and talk to the folks that you trust, which is your personal doctor. Yeah, well, that <clears throat> that's certainly good advice. Uh, you know, you hold a nonpartisan job. Uh, it is not Democrat or Republican, although I believe you are registered as a Republican. Good for you. Uh, you know, the polls seem to indicate that more Republicans have been hesitant and have made not getting a shot a kind of a political issue. I mean, you clearly said, no, it's not, it's science, it's not politics here. Well, we, we know it's not a political issue. So uh, vaccine hesitancy, I mean, when you look at the numbers in the Hispanic community nationally, when you look at the numbers of the African community, African-American community nationally, I mean, you see those numbers a lot lower, uh, sometimes lower than 50% throughout our nation. So vaccine hesitancy uh, uh, cuts through uh, different, uh, be it Republican, independents, Democrats. So to me, it's really not uh, one party or the other that that, that is hesitant. I mean, I, you've seen national uh, folks on the national level uh, kind of start vaccine hesitancy. I remember during the presidential uh, uh, debate when now Vice President uh, Kamala Harris, you know, talked about, hey, if Donald Trump says to get the vaccine, I'm, I'm not going to get it. And we see other Republicans nationally talking about that. But you know what? For, forget about the national noise. Talk to the people that you trust, which is your local doctors, your local pharmacists, your local nurses. But it is not uh, vaccine hesitancy is not a, a partisan issue. It's one uh, that we see the numbers throughout the nation, be it Democrat, Republicans or independents. But it is very, very important to talk to the folks that you trust cut through that noise. Don't don't log on to social media to get that information, but get it directly from your doctor, your nurses, your pharmacist. And I think that's extremely important. And as much as we take a hit here sometimes from people in local media, I think we have all of those things right there on our website as well. Manny Seed, it was great to have you and hear your message and we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much. Great to see you all and have a good day. Thank you, you as well.